good coaches, I think, never set out to win conference championship and state championship. It's always about the process. The process has been long for Michael Bowen. You may know him as a tennis coach, but that's just a chapter in his story. It began as a senior in college. Bowen was a player on the UNCW tennis team. He was also on a film set as an extra in the movie Raw Deal, until one day, everything changed. I never saw the car that hit me on my driver's side. And when it did, it, uh, it instantly paralyzed me from the neck down. It, it almost took my life. Bowen suffered an injury to his spinal cord. A Division I athlete, now bedridden, he questioned why, how, and what's next. I just didn't see a reason to, to go on. I just, just I, and so just a simple prayer to say, you know, I need, you know, God, I need some guidance. I need some purpose to live. And, uh, you know, it came in, it came in a, in the uh, voice of my father, you know, who said, I love you very much. We're not giving up. And I didn't. And being able to recover from that was something that I would have never imagined when I laid in a hospital for months and months not being able to move. What he also never could have imagined was his literal and metaphorical vehicle to recovery. It started with a literal and metaphorical dream. I would have a dream in rehab while I was still paralyzed of, uh, of bicycling across America to visit patients who were less fortunate. And, uh, and that's, that's what I did. The crew called Ride to Recovery. Bowen began biking in 1989 through the mountains, the deserts, everywhere. His goal, share his story with people who had been through similar injuries, one facility at a time across America. Fond memories of of trying to do something for for other people and the thing is I thought I I thought I was making these trips to help other people but the biggest beneficiary was was me that storytelling has manifested itself in print it was an on and off process beginning with a verbal diary back in 1991 as he recovered from his own injury I uh, by that time I had learned to to be able to type somewhat, um, what pencil, what I, uh, pencil in the sand, pecking away, and then type them in the sand. And I wrote it down, and I looked at it, and I said, it's absolutely terrible. I would, who would want to read this? The answer, the two people by his side during the process. Uh, fast forward uh, to 2008, my mom passed away from cancer. Her wish was that I finish the book. So I started writing it again. Fast forward another 10 years, my dad passes away. Before he passes away, he says, you will finish that book to honor your mother and you're going to honor me. For Bowen, win number 300 is just as important as 301 and so on. Fast forward to now, coach attacks coaching like he did rehab, biking, and write it. My mentality is take one day at a time, do your very best, let God worry about the rest. And so that's what I do every day. He knows one day he won't be able to play anymore. His spinal injury continues to deteriorate muscles in his back. He'll hang up the racket one day, but one day is not two days. For me, some of the life lessons that I feel like I pass on to players stem from being, being in an accident, having to overcome adversity, having to take one day at a time, learning how to live with disappointment, learning how to live with failure, but also learning how to take the next day, reset, and, and be able to move forward.